conversation seems semi, and I've said this before, dry. There's a rumor going round. All the rumors are true, yeah. What you heard, that's true. I had a kiss. What? <laughs> Just there. Just there. No way. <laughs> God. Yep, so Kat was telling the girls about her kiss with Elam and Ella was telling her she's more compatible with Elam and back at the villa, Gabby was asking Scott for his favorite color, babes. What are you doing? Meanwhile, at the fire pit, Tank was telling Montel about her favorite horses while over at the bean bags, Abby was telling Mitch she's not interested in speaking to them boys. There's no one else really that I'm necessarily looking to get tonight. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how we're going. Mitch was being goofy and silly, yet he was still able to reassure Abby within that goofiness. And at the day bed, Ty was curious if Abby really liked Mitch like that and wondered what Ella was up to. Now at Casa, we saw Ella having the biggest smile on her face as she was talking to Uzi. No, it's not like I don't want to talk to them, but I just feel like, I mean, you would work better. You coming in is definitely like confused me. Uzi reminded Ella what she said about being closed off and my girl said she's closed off to everyone else except him and Ty. Baby girl is smitten and doesn't want to think about Ty at all. She then complimented Uzi on his maturity and Uzi saw that compliment as an opportunity to lay one on Ella. <laughs> no longer having a kiss? <laughs> no, not yet. Oh my god. Ella told him it's too soon. Cuddling up in bed was a big step for her. Now Cody was asking Jess about her favorite animal. What's up with Dumb. Stupid. Crazy. What's up with all them favorite questions? What are you saying then? You feeling me? That's oh a big god, question. You literally stick it right yeah, on. Yeah, say how it is. <laughs> no. No, 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 no! I'm just... Is that it? It takes me a while. Lockham and Wit got their floats on, Lockham read Wit like an open book, and that got Wit interested, but I just don't see it. Every single time that me and Mitch have, like, had something, he's started it. So, shall I take him to the terrace? Molly was telling the Casa girls that she wants to be closed off with Zach while Ella was telling the girls she fancies Lucy and Mrs. Ty. Jess, she's feeling locked on Sammy, then the Islanders toasted the night. Guys, should we play truth or die? <laughs> Catherine did went to a three-way kiss and she chose Cody to join them. Then Uzi was there to suck the toes of the girls he fancied and he obviously sucked Ella's. Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to take the top off of the islander you fancy the most and lick them. Kat obviously chose Ella, then Jess did Uzi to kiss his top three for 10 seconds each. Leah was first, followed by Katie, then he finally got his kiss with Ella. Like with Uzi, there is something there. I can't deny that. He's first fanner in the works, that's for sure. Jess then did Leah to write the boy she finds it most like a horse. So Leah wrote Uzi, but she was thinking about Montel the whole time. Then Jess did the boys to choose a girl they wanted to talk on them. Single, but obviously things were going well with Jess. I don't think either of us sort of know where we stand. Sammy was telling Amber that he prefers her over Tink, then Gabby interrupted and nabbed Sammy for herself. Now I'm not gonna lie, Sammy and Gabby have a better chemistry than he does with Amber. Meanwhile, Abby pulled Mitch for a chat, she wanted to go to the terrace. Now once at the terrace, Mitch found it attractive that Abby pulled him and damn, they look good together, they just might be my second favorite couple. I was planning on kissing Abby tonight, and Abby took me to the terrace. I gotta check out this hot girl. There she is. <laughs> That's the most attractive thing ever, and you know, you've seen the rest is history. My man Ty was third wheeling so bad, he was telling Molly and Zach that he plans on telling Ella he loves her. Now Molly, she was not here for it, she was not feeling it. She didn't care that Ty was telling his BFF that he loves a girl. If I have these feelings for Ella, I'm not gonna just flirt 
with these girls. Like, that the old me would have done that, but I'm trying to, you know, like I said, it's all about growth. Once Molly had enough, she took Zach to the den where she told him she's very happy with where they at, and then they kissed. And after that kiss, Zach told her he missed her, and I miss seeing Zach's personality, but I am happy that they are back on track. Much as you like Jess, as much as Jess likes you. Before you just left for Casa, bro, you weren't in a couple with bro. Sammy <laughs> had a dilemma on his hand. He likes Amber and Gabby and Ty. Being the biggest playboy in the villa advised him to kiss them both. And deep down, I knew that Ty thought this was great advice. And I'm disappointed in Sammy for taking on stupid, idiotic advice. If you grab both of them right now, if you... I'm saying... Alright, alright, fuck it. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull out of it. I go where? I go where? Where are you going? Nah. Uh, on a little trip. Doesn't squeaker. I want you to do something for me. All right. Amber. <laughs> Sammy took Amber to the den where he told her he is feeling her and Gabby. Then out of the blue, he pulled her close and kissed her. And after that kiss, she told him he better not have kissed Gabby. Kissed her. Okay. Guess. What the hell? Soon after. Sammy, go kiss that one. After that encouragement, Sammy pulled Gabby to the den. You look lovely, by the way. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. Just so do you. After they kissed, Sammy told Gabby he just wanted clarity. Then Gabby asked him if he was going to kiss Amber. Unfortunately for her, he already had kissed Amber. Situation. He has got layers. It's like a lasagna. I managed to lips the pair of them. I've got to do what I've got to try and do. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Ty was telling the boys to think of Casa as a lad's holiday. So Montel told Ty and Scott he sort of kind of likes Tink and Ty told him to kiss her anyway. Then Sammy returned from his kissing mission. Them kisses gave him clarity. He likes Gabby and Ty called Sammy a legend for that legendary stupid idiotic move. You sitting here like me when I'm closed, you're open. What are you doing, bro? Just go and take Tink and kiss her. What? I don't understand, bro. I don't get it. So Montel took Tink to the terrace. Their conversation was dry, but they kissed because Montel had a mission. However, he did regret that kiss, but he can always blame it on Ty. And I'm trying, but I'm like none of you, Montel. Only looking at you. Jason and Leah were missing their mans, and if only they knew that them boys have been on stupid kissing missions, then they probably wouldn't be missing them. However, Leah did say that she hopes that they'll be honest about the shenanigans they got up to it while they were in the villa. Meanwhile, Ella's state of confusion continued, and Uzi wanted her to update him should her feelings change, and Marco Ella was loving that Uzi came in and has just been tunnel visioned. What's your favorite feature? About you or generally? No, about you, yourself. Favourite feature? Um... You can be my after. We both love soup and uh, we love the outdoors. Uh, we love snow peas. My... <laughs> Nipple. Um... <laughs> and uh, talking and not talking. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I need to look in this before. <laughs> <laughs> Magic is that was smooth, but what wasn't smooth was Sammy telling Amber he just had a decent kiss with Gabby. Then he proceeded to tell her after kissing them both, he is leaning towards Gabby. Thank you for telling me. Did you feel like you had to kiss us both? Wow, I could so easily freak out right now. <laughs> I'm just not the type to just go around like kissing everyone. Neither am I. We just kiss, kiss you girl. I hate this stupid day and everything about it. Later, Amber was telling the Daybird gang about Sammy's decision. Baby girl was crying and everything, but there were no tears. Zoom in, zoom out, tears, nada. And later, Mitch wanted to know where Sammy's head was at. I realized that it's Gabby more than Amber, but it's also made me realize straight after I was about Jess, I'll be real. What? At the Casa Villa, Uzi wanted the tea on Ella. Once it was lights out, we saw that Scott shared his bed with Amber, Zach and Molly were cuddling, Sammy slept with Gabby, and Amber and Mitch were making out while Montel was busy under the covers with Tink. He surely cannot blame Ty for this because he was sleeping. Pretty lovely.
You only matter. You ain't worried about the head. And I told Uzi he has messed with the head, but then a good night kiss was given. Unfortunately, the angles. It left everything to the imagination. Was it a peck? Was it a kiss on the cheek? We don't know. We will all find out on movie night or if Ella tells the girls about it in the morning. Ben shared Katie's bed and Zach shared Jesse's. Whitney and Lockham shared goodnight kisses while Catherine shared cuddles and Lee and Cody shared the same sleeping position. How was everyone's night? How was your night? It was a good night. Did you guys kiss yesterday? Yeah, we did actually. <laughs> During the morning debrief, Montel was telling the guys that he's liking Tink more and more, especially after them kisses, and Sammy's feeling confused. Meanwhile, at Casa Amor, Jess was missing Sammy, and Catherine said she relates more to Elam than she does with Scott, and Ella was missing Ty. Strong feelings towards Ella, bro. Obviously, I haven't got no gauge or I've never had feelings before, so it's not like I can compare. But the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Uh, you know when you know, you know, and yeah. uh, I just literally can't get out of my head, always thinking yeah. about her. Scott is telling Ty that Ella won't return with someone. Unfortunately for Scott and Ty, both Ella and Kat will possibly be returning with some Kasamo bombshell. Now Mitch was echoing Scott's sentiments and Ty was telling the boys that he doesn't even miss the game and he's planning on telling Ella how he feels about her when she does return. Meanwhile, you're good with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so good, thank you. While Whitney and Lockham got their floats on, Sammy was apologizing to Amber and Montel was telling Tink that he has more in common with her than he does with Leah and that their connection seems stronger. Then, Mitch received a text and Jess received the same text, Kasaramo is officially over. Shit just got real! Hey you, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.